Welcome to Crypto Coins, where we review the best coins for you. How's it going, my friends? Welcome back to Crypto Coins. My name is Freddie Colton, and have you heard about Pluto? That's messed up, right? <laughs> Today, we're actually going to be talking about Pluto Reserve Currency. Um, and this is a really cool thing. So Reserve Currency Connecting Waves Ecosystem, excuse me to, to finish that. Uh, for those psych fans of you, I hope that one was enjoyable. Um, anyway, so this is a really fun project. It's going to be a pretty short and sweet one this time because we're going to go through the project, kind of what it's used for, and give you a general idea of whether you'd be interested in this or not. I personally am very interested, and we'll get into why. Why, uh, the, the nitty gritty here in a moment but of course please keep in mind my friends as I do talk about this remember this isn't financial advice and I'm in no way a financial advisor purely just a crypto geek who loves to discuss this kind of thing so with that being said you know take anything I say with a grain of salt and don't invest in something just because I talk about it of course do a modicum of your own research before doing making any investment in your whole life um, so we've got the treasuries, treasury size, market capitalization, um, kind of getting into it though. Um, what is our reserve currency? So one, issue Pluto with a yield generating asset on waves with a premium. Two, get your Pluto unlocked after onboarding period with exclusive APY rate. And we're going to get into the, even more about it in here in a moment. Uh, we're doing the first page of the website and then we'll move on. Pluto is staked instantly. Get staking rewards unstake at any time. Constant buy pressure maintained using Pluto buyback mechanism and then uh you can learn a little bit more through different articles so if you want to check out the news about what's going on there essentially uh this is just sort of their cover page you can also connect your wallet here very simply if you'd like to now um we will be checking through their different papers here. So this is on uh, mirror.xyz. I'll have all the links for the for you in the description. Uh, we can see here on Twitter with just over a thousand followers right here. Telegram with 500 plus. Um, uh, this is actually the same thing. So I apologize that is up twice. Um, this is a little bit behind Pluto. So the Pluto mechanics and what's going on with that, which again, we will read through those in a moment. Just showing you some links first and then we'll get back into the nitty gritty of things. Um, <clears throat> and this is actually actually the exchange so you can find all this information that I did on their website this is actually the exchange where it's uh, showing you what's going on with their coin essentially um, now Pluto mechanics so we're gonna start here so Pluto is an innovative research currency design it is a financial instrument resistant to bear markets and that long that provides long-term and planned growth in the market price of the asset uh, TLDR, Pluto tokens are backed by treasury funds. The treasury maintains a market price no lower than the backed price. The onboarding mechanics build up the treasury and increase Pluto's backed price. Pluto onboarding and staking bring triple digit APY to the participants' treasury driven price model. The treasury is a core of the Pluto protocol. Most of the treasury, at least 80%, consists of the low risk LP tokens such as Vires USDT, Vires USDC, and Waves Exchange, USDT, and DN pool that are essentially stable coins invested in protocols and generating interest. The treasury will also include LP tokens from the Pluto pool launched on Puzzle Swap in order to guarantee a sufficient level of liquidity. The key object of the Pluto protocol is to drive the growth of the treasury along with the backing of each Pluto token. So then just goes on to tell you about the market price, so how it stays, how it stays, you know, similar market price, the backed price, minimum price, and growth factor. Gives you a couple of examples here. Year. Now, um, again, just kind of giving you the on compounding interest, that sort of info. Um, the treasury value, total supply, so we're just kind of going through these. Uh, talks about their staking, why Pluto is sustainable, and it is minting of any Pluto's backed by the growth of the treasury, as we said. So again, it is a project that is backing up itself in value, which I really love the concept of. Um, treasury maintains the market price at level no lower than backed price, which gradually increases. Protocol can buy back all minted Pluto at the backed price. And onboarding mechanics increase the backed price of each Pluto token, the price floor. Detailed calculations are given in the white paper of the project. Everyone is welcome to review them, which um, this is from uh, going through. This is the white paper info is the uh, is the mirror.xyz or excuse me, X. Yeah, XYZ. Um, uh, this is that 
essentially link, which I will have in the description. So, um, it talks about the same thing we just talked about with it being. So the treasury, the main mechanic of the protocol to kind of explain this treasury to you in a little bit, probably should have done it in a reverse order, but it'll make just as much sense, I promise. Um, of the protocol is the growth of the collateral value of each Pluto token. The collateral is implemented by the treasury where parameters are controlled by voting and can also change automatically depending on market figures. The mathematical model of Pluto is mostly focused on treasury growth. It is built with this objective in mind. The treasury growth is driven by the funds of Pluto users. The users can define that growth by means of Pluto release mechanism. The mechanism implies that the treasury is spent only in the case that Pluto token price falls below the backed price. This approach ensures that the market price never settles below the backed price. At least 80% of the treasury is compromised of stable coins. The stable coins are used for liquidity mining and money markets such as the virus finance, um, which this is where it takes you, uh, just so you're aware. Um, if you're interested in checking that out, uh, the treasury also includes liquidity provider tokens in the parent protocol of Pluto, a mega pool launched on the puzzle swap service. The list of supported assets can be expanded by voting conducted by stalker, uh, stalkers, excuse me, stakers. Ah, I knew that was wrong. Stakers. Uh, still, their share in the treasury must never exceed 20% to ensure that the liquidity providing remains stable. Treasury driven price model, the Pluto model, is based on the several key mathematical parameters that ensure the stability of the system and the Pluto's rate as well. Those parameters are namely back price, minimum price, and market price, and max price. Um, so we can see a little bit of the dynamics of that in a, in a uh, graph that they've given to us. Now, it just goes into the total supply, number of Plutos issued, treasury value, and equivalent of assets in the treasury and USDN. US, yeah, USDN, excuse me. Uh, back price, minimum price, treasury value, slash total supply. Pluto price to USDN on the market is the market price. Max price is backed price times K, where K is the number set by voting. The default value is three. And then Pluto growth factor, market price uh, divided by backed price. I said slash earlier. That's clearly divided by, excuse me. Um, so Pluto growth factor demonstrates the correlation of Pluto's market price with a real secured price. Theoretically, Pluto growth factor is limited boundaries, should not go beyond the range 100%, 100% times K. The optimum price of growth factor is considered the central point of range, i.e. 200%. Price of Pluto never goes instantly too high while balancing between backed price and max price. Pluto is designed as a reserve currency, so this approach ensures a stable growth rate in the long term. Pluto is guaranteed not to fall in price by more than K1 slash K. Importantly, the backed price is practically a non-decreasing value. In a stable peg of stable coins, the downside risk of the backed price is 20% provided all non-stable coins in the coffers drop in price to zero. Um, and then just gives you some examples as well, going through the mathematics of this. I would say that you should check the rest of this out yourself if you're interested, because a lot of this is just into the mathematics, and I don't want to, uh, I don't want to keep this video not, you know, not as entertaining as possible. I know it's a lot of reading in this one, but I promise you, Pluto's a really fascinating project, so please go check out the rest of it. Check out the news on this one that I did not go through as well, just to get an idea of this project. But my friends, as always, thank you very much for coming by Crypto Coins. I genuinely appreciate having your company. Remember, Pluto is a planet. Uh, and that, that's all I have to say today, my friends. Thanks for watching.